There you see him. Steve, what is it? That's a good picture. <laughs> um, well, I thought, I thought I would just embrace the insanity and talk about the 2012 presidential election. I understand that it's early. I understand the smart people are going to say this is absurd. But I was genuinely interested in finding out who uh, both Charles and Kirsten thought would be the strongest Republican presidential candidate to run against President Obama and somebody who might be an outside the box box potential Republican candidate to run. All right, but you got to answer it first. <laughs> my, uh, my answer for both this is sort of like the Paul Ryan panel, uh, because I would say Paul Ryan. He's done a lot of things that seem to be preparing him for a national run. He's a House member from Wisconsin. Uh, people assume that he's going to run for the Senate uh, in, against Herb Cole, or, or if it's an open seat. Uh, he is extraordinarily knowledgeable. He is something of a policy wonk. He has been giving foreign policy speeches. He endorsed Marco Rubio in Florida. He's uh, taking a trip to raise money in New Hampshire. He's doing sort of the kinds of things that you would do if you were planning a run for president. Uh, he would be a little bit of an out-of-the-box pick because he'd be coming from the House. Kirsten? Um, well, I think the strongest candidate in a general election would probably be Romney. I don't. Th I think he'd have a very difficult time. I've always thought he'd have a difficult time getting out of a, a primary just because Mitt of the, Romney. Yeah, Mitt Romney, just because of the evangelical issue, and the Mormon issue. But I don't think that would be an issue at all. In a, in a general election, he's obviously run a campaign before, a good a good campaign. He's understands the economy. Um, he's a good candidate. You know, I think people like him, so I think he'd be strong. I think for outside. Now, I took the outside the box very seriously, and I didn't want to mention some someone that's been mentioned but I would say Jenny Sanford would be like a very outside the box person. <laughs> we all know she was the brains behind the operation down there. Um, she South ran Carolina. his yes, she ran his campaign. She basically ran his office. Uh, she obviously has very good character. She has a great story. Um, you know, she, the first she, was, a, to the she was a very Carolina. successful businesswoman in her own right. She has family money. Um, so that would be my outside the box suggestion. That's not That's outside. <laughs> all right, Charles. That's not outside the box. That's outside the galaxy. <laughs> uh, my outside the box is uh, General Petraeus, and the reason he's outside the box is he's not going to run against his own commander-in-chief. So I think if he ever runs, it will be in 2016. Uh, the best candidate, I think, as of uh, today would be Mitt Romney, for the same reason you were saying. Uh, who, whoever it is, I think, is going to run in 2012 against a failed, charismatic President Obama. So what you want is somebody who's got a deficit of uh, charisma. It's a backhanded compliment. But you'd want a Romney who was solid, economically savvy, reliable, rooted, experienced. I think he'd be very strong. No Scott Brown candidates here. Okay. He was my other, <laughs> he was the other he one. Was okay. My 